Hey, what's up everyone? It's David here. This time I've got the Panasonic Vera Smart TV and I'm going to be run, running the Netflix app. So, it's a Netflix walkthrough. You click on that and straight to that. Got a bit. So, you can see that work quite quickly. And if I press the I, because one of the great things about the Netflix app is that you can find out how much data and information is on the screen. So it says 5.27 megabytes per second and it's 1080. I'm pretty sure that's the maximum that movie is going to be using anyway. So that's obviously because I've said this loads of times because I've got a wired connection. Now I'm going to go over to the Rust Valley, which is in 4K. Uh, this is a really good show. Let's just put it on there and the information is on the corner of the screen. It's running at 2160p, which is 4K. See, there's quite a lot of information on the screen right there. It's jumped, it's jumped from 5 to 9.86. So already it's on there with the resolution, but obviously it's how much it, you know, it goes up to. It will be 15 megabytes per second. So it's at the, currently at 9.86. It's obviously how Netflix works is it basically starts the program at the best possible resolution it can based on what it has of the information at the moment or how much internet speed you have and then it slowly goes up to the, like I said, the capped 15 megabytes. So that's it's pretty Pretty good quality picture there but obviously it is a hand it's basically a small portion of what it would be if it was from a blu-ray 4k blu-ray or even a blu-ray with more information on there so obviously i said i think i've covered this before streaming basically it puts focus on the person but then the background basically what happens with the background is it gets reduced to say full hd so they, there's little tweaks and uh, tricks that they do to obviously operate within people's bandwidth and also it's because how many people use it from their servers it would just be overloaded with inman inundated with data going across so they obviously they do these little tricks and bugs to go through but the netflix apps tend to be exactly the same across all of the, the devices if the devices are older and it can't basically support newer versions of netflix netflix tends to keep the older version going um i've seen it on some smart tvs but i think they might have been shut down by now so on the old uh my samsung 2011 model smart tv 3d which was i think the d range but that used more of a, a red background and it didn't really what's the word it didn't use uh, algorithms to tell you or um, show you what you previously watched and what you know what runtime you still have left and here's some new movies that meet your um what's the word taste i'd say the best way to say that so they've got a 4K Ultra HD section there. And that's it. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now.